NASA's plan to save Earth from the Yellowstone supervolcano. Max Lavo, SHTF, reports. Well, they've been saying this for quite a long time now, even though we're constantly being told by scientists not to worry about the Yellowstone supervolcanic eruption. NASA is now on a mission to save the Earth from exactly that. NASA has ambitious plans to prevent the extinction of the human race by drilling into the supervolcano, according to BBC. NASA researchers got in touch with the media outlet to detail the threat lurking beneath Wyoming's crust, what they think they can do about it before it eliminates humanity. And it would eliminate humanity, we would have a volcanic winter. Now, we know that also the Yellowstone supervolcano sits on the Ring of Fire. It's quite close to California and close to the Long Valley Caldera, which is also a supervolcano. NASA contacted BBC after they published an article about supervolcanoes last month. There are about 20 known supervolcanoes on Earth, with major eruptions occurring on average once every 100,000 years. One of the greatest threats an eruption may pose is thought to be, of course, starvation, with a prolonged volcanic winter potentially prohibiting civilization from being able to grow enough food for the current population, not only blocking up the sun, but the ash cloud poisoning the soil. In 2012, the United Nations estimated that food reserves worldwide would last only about two months, a mere 74 days after such an event. That's nothing. Now, it says here, as I was a member of the NASA Advisory Council on Planetary Defense, which studies ways for NASA to defend the planet from asteroids and comets, Brian Wilcox of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology states, I came to the conclusion during that study that the supervolcano threat is substantially greater than the asteroid or comet threat. NASA scientists approached the problem of the Yellowstone supervolcano. The problem, we are told, is not actually a problem and that we have nothing to worry about from the heat standpoint. They assumed cooling down the supervolcano would prevent its eruption. Uh, Yellowstone currently leaks about 60 to 70 percent of its heat into the atmosphere through stream water, which seeps into the magma chamber through cracks while the rest of the heat builds up as magma and dissolves into volatile gases. The heat and pressure will reach the threshold, meaning an explosion is inevitable. And they, that is the NASA scientists, have devised a risky plan that could end up blowing up in their faces, literally. Wilcox hypothesized that enough heat was re if enough heat was removed and the temperature of the supervolcano dropped, it would never erupt but he wants to see a 35% decrease in temperature and how to achieve that is incredibly risky. One possibility is to simply increase the amount of water in the supervolcano as it turns to steam. The water would release the heat into the atmosphere, making global warming alarmists tremble. The plan is to drill into the supervolcano. Quote, Yellowstone currently leaks around six gigawatts in heat, end quote. This is what Wilcox explained, and he went on to explain to add, through, through drilling into this way, it could be used to, cre to create a geothermal plant which generates electric power at extremely competitive prices of around 10 cents per kilowatt hour. You would have to give the geothermal companies incentives to drill somewhat deeper and use hotter water than they usually would. But you would pay back your initial investment and get electricity which could power the surrounding area for a period of potentially tens of thousands of years. And the long-term benefit is that you prevent future supervolcanic eruption which would devastate humanity." End quote. However, Wilcox also admits that this plan is incredibly risky. It could trigger the very event that NASA wishes to prevent a lot earlier. The most important thing with this is to do no harm, Wilcox said. If you drill into the top of the magma chamber and try to cool it from there, this would be very risky. This could make the cap over the magma chamber more brittle and prone to fracture, and you might trigger the release of harmful volatile gases in the magma at the top of the chamber, which would otherwise not be released." End quote. 
Wilcox also said that this is a, along a painstaking endeavor to be undertaken. He thinks the rewards of drilling into the Yellowstone supervolcano outweigh the risks of humanity's extinction. Quote, Yellowstone explodes roughly every 600,000 years, and it is about 600,000 years since its last explosion, which should cause us to sit up and take notice, Wilcox added. Of course, he meant to say that another super volcanic eruption is imminent. This is by Max Slavo on SHTF Plan. <laughs>